See, the V-Rake is kind of like shotgun. You don't really need to aim so much. <laughs> you need to aim a little bit, but not like majorly, right? This should be called the shotgun rake. That's what I'm thinking. All right, guys, let's get started on this next field. So I'm going to shut you down for the moment. Okay. So we want to go here. And we want to go here and clear current course. Open course editor. Target location is not a course animal area. What? Open course editor. Okay, I think we have to go. Um, change mode. Rename entry. No, that's not what we want to do. Okay, so what I want to start. Oh, maybe I have to pop back out of here and then, okay, I think that's what we have to do. I think that's what we have to do. Okay, so I don't think we need to change anything here. Yep, that should be good. Okay, so let's generate the course. Close that. And then we want to go to here. Um, create a new folder and what are, let's call this production area. Okay. Production area. Good. And we want to save the course, activate it, and we'll call this production a harvest. Oh, for goodness sakes. Production hay harvest. Okay, very good. Um, now we should be able to tell it to... Here, let's turn the thingy on. Tell it to start at the first waypoint. And have it do its thing. I would think that this should should be pretty easy because it's almost a rectangular field. I suppose we should probably change the corners from rounded to sharp if we want them to get all of that. But it's going to make it a little easier for them if they just do the rounded. And as long as I have to come back along and clean up a little bit of the stuff anyway, it's not really that big a deal. Okay, headland's done. That'll probably just make three passes if we turn this on. Yep, three passes down the center. So all I gotta do. Okay, so yeah, let's let him finish up. It won't take him that long at all. And we want to get back to. Oh, are you still? Oh, that guy's been sitting there charging me money the whole time. <laughs> Okay, here, stop. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch that. All right, let's get this first sausage finished before we do anything else. Are you... Yeah, you're still running. Okay. 
If I if I put it in there just right, it just kind of sucks it right off the off the uh, spike, which is ideal. I just have to kind of figure out what that's where that sweet spot is. Okay, Baylor's done. Nice. It didn't take long at all, did it? Or not Baylor, I'm sorry, uh, mower. <laughs> okay. That does look like a big old sausage, doesn't it? Or like, a, no, actually it looks like a big giant night crawler, that's what it looks like. Yeah, if I get it just right, it just snaps it right in. I like that. Hmm. That one's not snapping. Okay. Fantastic. So now what we got to do is reposition our extractor. So we'll hop in here and unload bales as R. Okay. So wraps it on up for us. Okay, so we're going to put this right next to it, but all the way down on the other end again. If I if I was to do this long term, we really should probably try and level this terrain out a little bit better. start maybe right here Okay, so this time I want the bales to be... I'm going to have a little bit more traveling to do it this way, but I'm not going to have to turn as much. And the other thing is, is I'm, not <laughs> I'm not sure if those bales are going to actually stay there because it's on a hill. Bring them forward a little bit here. Yeah, this this might not work super well, but let's just see what happens. Uh, okay, they're s they're staying there for the moment. Re remains to be seen if. They will stay there the whole time. All right, I'm just going to pick these three bales up. Oh, I guess there's four. That's fine with me. Man, look at that gorgeous field. I just love the look of the fields when they're all cleaned up and planted and all good to go. Ready to make us more money. 
Um, let's grab these bales too. This could potentially be a staging area here, but that's that would only be temporary because we're gonna, you know, at some point get the large cow barn. Which will take all that area, you know, all that space up. Okay, so we're done with you for the moment. Now let's get the mower going on the next field and the baler going on this field. Got a couple of spots that we're going to have to clean up. That takes care of that. Just going to bring you right on over here. And let's do failed 50 first, because that one's going to be easy. And then we'll do our little triple field here at the end. Okay, so we want to go... How do I get rid of, I guess I just have to do it from here, clear current course. Okay. And then we come here, we click this. Uh, we're going to change the headland corners to sharp, but otherwise I think everything else should be fine the way that it is. Okay. Let's generate the course. Yeah. This is going to be nice and straightforward here. Okay, now we want to go to here, and we want to create a new folder, and this is field 50. And we want to save the course, activate, Typing at a weird angle there and over my steering wheel on top of that. Uh, okay, so that takes care of that. It's saved. And we start at first waypoint. Okay, do your thing. Okay, let's let him go at it. So I'm not expecting there to be any issues at all on this field. Uh, the trees are a little bit tight, though at the headland, so that could be an issue, but we'll see how he does. All right, very good. Okay, so let's clear that. Um, no. We click here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, clear current course. Now select production area, production hay harvest, load course, activate. Um, now, can I... No, never mind. I don't, want, I don't want to do that. Okay, so first waypoint. Yep, okay. Hmm. See how it's doing the block by an object? I wonder if it's seeing the rake as a something that's blocking. Just want to see if it pops up again. Maybe that only happens when it first, you know, starts lowering it down. Okay, this could be... Yeah, okay. Nope, he made it. <laughs> I was going to say, I was afraid he was going to run into that. Oh, 
We might have a problem with bales being in the way on this field, though, too, because, again, it's just so small. Okay, well, let's let him do his thing and see how he does. And we need to start the next sausage over here. I still think the ultimate way to do this is probably going to be to get some big fermenting silos and 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 use uh, forage wagons and just dump the loose hay right into the silo. Especially when you can automate it with course play and auto drive. Um, that's going to kind of be what I'm going to shoot for. Yeah, I'll bet you... He's blocked by a bale, yeah. Okay. I'll be picking these bales up myself, so I'm not really worried about moving them so much. In fact, yeah, you know what? I, I probably better just bale this field. So otherwise, he's just going to keep having problems. All right. Cancel. It was a nice idea. Works great for the mowing. Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just, it won't take us long at all to knock this out. See, the V-Rake is kind of like shotgun. You don't really need to aim so much. <laughs> You need to aim a little bit, but not like majorly, right? This should be called the shotgun rake. That's what I'm thinking. All right, you know what? I'm liking the way this is working out, like big time. So I think I'm going to return the fast baler. Um, well, I've got to think about this for a second, though. If we have to do a silage contract, this isn't really going to work for that. In fact, this isn't going to work at all for a silage contract. So, yeah, we might need to, well, here's, okay, here's another thought, though, actually. We could do, no, I don't think that's going to work either. Never mind. Forget it. <laughs> I didn't, after I thought about it for a second. Yeah, um, contracts are not going to work. This isn't going to work for contracts. All right. Looks like our mower's done. But, as usual, we're going to have a little bit of cleanup work to do. So let's get that done. He's still sitting there doing that. Yeah, we'll get back to you, man. Here, let's at least turn the, that off so we're not wasting fuel. Okay, not too bad of a job. Actually, not bad at all. All things considered. Course play, of course, isn't going to get the extra bit. So that we're going to have to do. So let's do that. Grabbing a little bit off the edge of the field here. The baler might pick it up with the V-rake. All 
All right. So this last field's going to be interesting. Let's get the baler started first. Though. Okay, so we want to click this. Clear current course, grab field 50, load that course, activate, and send him on his way. Okay. So let's get back to you. Clear course. And now we want to do a new course. Uh, I think everything can stay the same as it has been. That's been, seems to be working okay. And we want to create a new folder. We're going to call this the tri fields because these are really three fields combined in one. All right. And then, um, Oh, we haven't actually created the course yet. Okay. It's going to say, wait a minute. What's going on here? No course. Okay. Yeah. Create course. There we go. Yep. That looks pretty reasonable, I think. All right. Um, now we go here. We do try fields. We do save course. Activate and... Try field... Try field and hay harvest. <laughs> there we go. Okay, nice. Now we should be able to. We're on first waypoint. Try field hay harvest. There they go. Very nice. Okay, Baylor, how you doing over here? Yeah, look at that. He's picking up the extra with the V-Rig. That is amazing. That works out so well. I wonder, though, if he's going to get hung up on the, on the power pole there. Let's just see what he does. Actually, he shouldn't, because he should turn right here. Um, well, okay. Uh, yeah, blocked by an object. Okay. Okay, since we're temporarily taken over here, let's get this corner. See, this is where I think if we would have kept it on rounded corners, he, he might have been able to get around that pole. But then again, maybe not. Let's just grab that little bit there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the beauty of this rake. Okay. Okay. Now, we should be able to have him start here and just go to nearest waypoint. Yeah, I think... Oh, the big Ib's blocked. Yeah, you are, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, I think we better go back to rounded corners. It seems to me like... Uh, I... Well, I watched one of the videos I watched. The dude in the video said to use rounded corners, and now I see why. Um, so if we go here. No. We want to go here. And. Do we have to. Okay, how do I edit an existing course? So this is the course.
What's that do? Oh. I think that's for recording a route. No. Okay. We want to go back to here. We want to load this course. Oh, open course editor. Course editing might create problems for the helper. You should only use the tool when problems with the generated course occur. This course is saved automatically on closing of the editor and overrides the selected course. Okay. Oh! Interesting. No, I don't want to do this kind of editing. <laughs> That's too much work, man. Uh... No, 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 no. That's not what I want to do. Okay, here. Let's go back to here. Let's just load this course. Activate. Uh, and then how do I get into the course itself to change it back to rounded corners? That's what I'm trying to do here. Those are global settings. These are vehicle settings. Only turning on field. I don't know how to do that. We, uh, we probably have to... Okay, so open course generator. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, yeah. So we want to set this back to round. Or actually, we didn't... Was it on smooth or round? I don't remember. Let's do smooth. Okay, but did that change this course though? I'll bet sh if we no, it it didn't because these are still okay. We're gonna have to start over. Uh, there's probably a way that you can edit those, but I'm not gonna manually edit it. Forget that. At least not right now. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's just go back to here. Uh, looks like our baler's having problems. Okay, let's go back to the mower. Again? <laughs> okay. That's the downside to using the rake. Of course, this field is um really close to the trees and stuff, too. Here, I'm going to actually just clean a little bit more of this up here. I know this seems like a lot of screwing around, and it is, but remember, I'm th this is my first time doing this, and I'm trying to figure, figure this all out. Once we get these courses set up well, the next time you just choose it from the folder and tell them to go, so it'll be a lot faster. For fields that are that are straight like this, it, it might be better not to use the rake. I don't know. Okay, so nearest waypoint, go. That's... Oh, I wonder if I had him go in the wrong direction. Yeah, I'll bet you that's what that was. Okay, let's let him... Do his thing. Okay, back to you. Now, um, we want to go to the Tri Field Hay Harvest. Open the course generator. This is set to smooth, so let's generate 
regenerate the thingy. Okay, did it regenerate it to smooth? Yeah, these are smoother corners now. Uh, maybe we do want round, actually. Here. Let's go with round. Okay. Okay, now they're more rounded here on the headland. Okay, so the question now, though, is did that overwrite this one? Target location is not a folder. Try field hay harvest. Oh. All right. If we save course there and activate, well, let us overwrite it. Let's see. I did it again. File already exists. No, it won't. Okay. So that means we're going to have to. Uh, load course, open course editor, create a new folder. How do I get rid of this? Change mode? Yeah, delete entry. Activate. Are you sure? Yes. All right. Now, let's go back to... Well, we didn't... We didn't actually save the course, but it's all the stuff is still in here. Okay, so generate course. Close the generator thingy. Go to here. Make sure try fields is selected. Save course. Hey, I typed it correct that time. There we go. I think that's what we wanted to do. Okay. So let's see if it can get around this corner now better. Because it's not trying to, you know, get all of it. That's better. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, unless you have a field that doesn't have a bunch of obstructions right up to the edge. Seems to me like round is definitely the best way to do this. And it should be just fine going along through in here too. I like it. I like it. Okay, what's going on? Where are we at? Why are we here? Where are we going? Baylor is stuck again. Yeah, I'm thinking for... I mean, it, it seems to me like overall, it's going to work better without the V-Rake. The V-Rake definitely has its advantages, especially when I'm using it. But when the AI's on here, it's just going to get in the way. Now, the other thing, too, is we kind of need to do the same thing with this course. Because I think we use sharp angles here. But the problem is, is I need to create the course with the, the mower. Because it's that course that everything else needs to follow. So we'll probably end up redoing this course... At, you know, later, or actually what's probably going to happen is I'm going to forget and we're going to run it and we're going to run into problems again. But the point is, is I have to have the mower make the course for this to work. Anyway, let's get this cleaned up here. Oh, look at him backing up and getting that piece too. That's cool. Um, never mind. I didn't get all of it. I <laughs> got most of it. Uh, all right. So I'm going to just let's stop that. I'm going to just drop off the V-Rake right on the corner here. Well, actually, that's not a good idea. Let's get it all the way out of the way.
we'll just stick it over here for now. Because again, I, I want it accessible to me when I have to do the cleanup work. All right, let's go all the way back down to this end of the field. Okay, nearest waypoint, go. This should work better. Because most of the hangups this guy's had has been because of the rake. All right. Where's our mower? Oh, it's going around the corner down there. Is it okay? What's it doing? I'm not getting any error messages. Oh, interesting. Oh no, okay, I think I know what's going on. It finished the headland and now it's now it's just starting the up and down, but it's it's going uh you know east west instead of north south. Uh oh. This is obviously going to work better on fields that don't have trees right next to them, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, we could get rid of the... It wouldn't really be that big of a deal to get rid of these trees here. But, yeah, you know what, let's do that. But I'm not going to... I'm going to do this the super cheaty way. Because these trees are so not worth messing with. So, we're just going to get rid of them this way. We still have a couple of nice elm trees right there. We'll leave those aren't causing problems, so we'll leave those there. We might we might be able to get away with leaving that one there, but any ones that are like really close to the field, I think, are just going to cause us some grief. We might be able to let that one go. This one is right up against the field. Okay, yeah, we'll let the we'll leave the rest of those there. So I didn't get rid of all of them. Look at him going, man. Oh, why does the baler think it's finished? Let's look at the route here. Oh, because I put it right next to the stop point. Oh, I see. Okay. It did exactly what he, I told it to do. It went to the nearest waypoint. So this is where it starts the up and down, right here off this little spur. Okay. Nearest waypoint. That looks better. Okay, I think we can finally get back to this job. I'll probably pick those bales up by myself as opposed to trying to use uh whatchamacallit. 
Of course, play. Okay, one of the dudes is blocked and one of them is finished. Who's finished? Big M's finished. All right, very nice. And other guy is blocked by a bale. Yeah, I think I'm going to change that right click because it's just messing me up. And actually, the Baylor's finished too after this last roll. Very nice. That's pretty clean, really. I mean, if, if he missed anything at all, it's, it's very insignificant so yeah on the on the nice straight fields so basically 50 and my bigger field across the way there uh we, we we don't need to use a rake at all i don't think and probably won't on this on the tri fields either just because of the fact that there's so much stuff along the edges you know We've got a couple of things to clean up here. Is there anything over this way? Doesn't look like it. That's pretty much it. Okay, so let's just leave you here for a moment and we'll do the cleanup work here. right now all right I'm back I had to actually take a phone call there for a moment love after hours work calls man <laughs> sometimes you got to do it though uh, okay, so let's get this little corner here. So yeah, I, I, I know I've said this a few times now, but I gotta say this really actually overall works out quite well. I'm very impressed with course play. And uh, plan on making making use of it continuing to make use of it as time goes on. Um, I'm not like I said, I'm not really sure. Uh, it, it definitely will be beneficial for contracts as far as, you know, the mowing and even the baling for that matter, but for silage on a contract, I'm, I'm not sure how that would work, uh, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm not really, I don't think it'll, it will, but I don't know. We'll, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it and see, you know, if, you know, what the potential options are there. Oh, there's a little spot over on the other field there we got to get. Okay. So we are finished with the mower. And so I'm going to, you know, let the baler do its thing on here and then, you know, pretty much just finish up the job as you've already seen it. I got to pick up those bales over there, get the sausages made, that sort of thing. And I probably won't bring you guys back until September 3rd, end of the month, where we'll sell our products that we can sell and go from there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really, really enjoyed this episode. It was really fun. Uh, whoops, what am I doing? It was really fun, um, you know, messing with course play and trying it out. And again, like I said, it, it worked very well. And so, you know, whether or not we use it that much on contracts, it remains to be seen. But on our own farm, um, I think this method is probably the best method we will be able to do silage in until... I can afford to buy some fermenting silos. And then after that, I think, you know, the loose silage method is going to be the best way to go. Because uh, remember, it's going to be automated. If it wasn't automated, then that would be a different story. But with it being automated, I think that uh, it'll probably be the best way to do it. So, uh, but time will tell. 
Anyway, I'm going to let you go here. I uh, just want to remind you guys again, I will be gone from October the 17th to the 24th-ish. I should probably actually see what that date is. <laughs> 17th, yeah, 17th to the 24th. Um, at which time I will not be making any new videos. I will try and stagger uh, these videos as much as I can to keep you guys in the content as much as possible until I get back. But there may be a few days towards the end. Uh, where there won't be any footage, uh, or I'm uh, not footage, videos until I get back. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.